We look at the world around us, we see vibrant colors, feel the warmth of the sun, and hear the laughter of children. These sensory experiences form the foundation of our daily lives, grounding us in what we perceive as reality. But what if everything we experience is just a carefully constructed illusion, a simulation created by our brains? What if our senses are not windows to the world, but rather filters that shape and sometimes distort our perception? This thought, as unsettling as it may seem, lies at the heart of the mind-body problem, a philosophical conundrum that has puzzled thinkers for centuries. Philosophers and scientists alike have debated the nature of reality and consciousness, questioning whether our minds can ever truly grasp the essence of the world around us. Our brains, those three-pound organs nestled within our skulls, are the control centers of our being. They are incredibly complex, with billions of neurons firing in intricate patterns to create our thoughts, emotions, and perceptions. They receive a constant stream of information from our senses, processing and interpreting this data to create our perception of reality. This process is so seamless that we often take it for granted, assuming that what we see, hear, and feel is an accurate representation of the world. But how much of this perception is an accurate reflection of the world outside? And how much is shaped, filtered, or even entirely fabricated by the brain itself? Our brains are not passive receivers of information. They actively construct our experience, filling in gaps and making assumptions based on past experiences and expectations. This raises a profound question. How much of what we perceive is truly real and how much is a creation of our minds? and how much is shaped, filtered, or even entirely fabricated by the brain itself. Our brains are constantly working to make sense of the world, but in doing so, they may also be distorting it. This question challenges us to confront a profound possibility that the reality we experience might not be the objective, independent reality that exists out there, but rather a subjective, brain-generated reality, unique to each individual. Each person's brain creates a unique version of reality, influenced by their own experiences, emotions, and cognitive processes. That the reality we experience might not be the objective, independent reality that exists out there, but rather a subjective, brain-generated reality unique to each individual. This means that two people can experience the same event in entirely different ways, each shaped by their own brain's interpretation but rather a subjective brain-generated reality unique to each individual. The world we see here, touch, taste, and smell could be a kind of virtual reality, a mental model built by the brain from the raw data it receives. The world we see here, touch, taste, and smell could be a kind of virtual reality, a mental model built by the brain from the raw data it receives. This mental model is our brain's best guess at what the world is like, but it is not infallible. A mental model built by the brain from the raw data it receives. This model is constantly being updated and refined as we gather new information, but it is always a step removed from the actual world. This is not to say that the external world doesn't exist. Rather, it suggests that our experience of it is always mediated by the brain, which acts as an interpreter, a translator between the raw data of the physical world and the conscious experience we call reality. Rather, it suggests that our experience of it is always mediated by the brain, which acts as an interpreter, a translator between the raw data of the physical world and the conscious experience we call reality. This means that our perception of reality is always subjective, shaped by the unique workings of our individual brains, which acts as an interpreter, a translator between the raw data of the physical world and the conscious experience we call reality. But how reliable is this interpreter? Our brains are powerful, but they are also fallible, prone to errors and biases. But how reliable is this interpreter? And can we ever truly know the world beyond our brain's interpretation of it? These questions challenge us to reconsider our understanding of reality and our place within it. And can we ever truly know the world beyond our brain's interpretation of it? As we continue to explore the mysteries of the mind and the nature of reality, we may find that the answers are as elusive as the questions themselves, forever challenging our perceptions and expanding our understanding of what it means to be conscious beings in a complex and ever-changing world. 
The human brain is an organ of astonishing complexity, a marvel of biological engineering that continues to baffle scientists and researchers alike. It is a universe unto itself with billions of neurons interconnected in intricate networks, each one communicating with thousands of others through synapses. Its ability to process information, learn, adapt and create is unparalleled in the known universe. The brain can interpret vast amounts of data, generate thoughts and even dream up entire worlds. Yet for all its power, the brain remains surprisingly ignorant of its own existence. It operates in the background, orchestrating our every move and thought without us even realizing it. Imagine a computer so advanced that it could write symphonies, solve complex mathematical equations, and even experience emotions, a machine capable of creativity and empathy, yet remained completely unaware that it was a computer. It would perform its tasks flawlessly, yet have no concept of its own identity or purpose. This, in essence, is the paradox of the human brain. It is the most sophisticated organ known to science, yet it lacks a fundamental understanding of itself. It is the organ that gives rise to our sense of self, our consciousness, our very awareness of the world and ourselves within it. This consciousness allows us to reflect, to ponder our existence, and to seek meaning in our lives. Yet it seems to lack any inherent self-awareness, any direct perception of its own existence. It is as if the brain is a master artist painting a self-portrait without ever seeing its own reflection. How can something that creates consciousness be itself unconscious? This question has puzzled philosophers and scientists for centuries. This is one of the many mysteries that surround the brain. Despite our advances in neuroscience, we are still far from fully understanding this enigmatic organ. We are still unraveling the secrets of its intricate workings, delving deeper into the labyrinth of neural pathways that govern our thoughts, emotions, and perceptions. Exploring these neural pathways is like mapping an uncharted territory, each discovery leading to more questions and deeper mysteries. The more we learn, the more we realize how much we don't know. Each breakthrough in brain research opens up new avenues of inquiry, revealing the staggering complexity of this organ. The brain, for all its complexity, is not a static, unchanging organ. It is a dynamic entity, constantly evolving and adapting. It is constantly adapting, rewiring itself in response to new experiences, learning from every interaction and event, learning and evolving throughout our lives. This ability to change and grow is known as neuroplasticity, and it is one of the brain's most remarkable features. This plasticity makes it all the more challenging to pin down its exact role in shaping our reality. It is a testament to the brain's incredible capacity for growth and adaptation, a never-ending journey of discovery and wonder. Throughout history, some of the greatest minds have pondered the nature of reality, the existence of God, and the meaning of life. Yet surprisingly, the brain itself received relatively little attention from these intellectual giants. Perhaps this is because, until recently, we lacked the tools and technology to study the brain in any meaningful way. Philosophers like Plato and Aristotle, while deeply interested in the mind and its workings, had to rely on introspection and observation, lacking the means to dissect the physical brain and its functions. Even geniuses like Leonardo da Vinci, who meticulously dissected and drew the human body in exquisite detail, could only speculate about the brain's inner workings. It wasn't until the advent of modern neuroscience, with its sophisticated imaging techniques and experimental methods, that we could begin to peer into the black box of the brain and unravel its secrets. This new field of study has opened up exciting possibilities, offering insights into the biological basis of consciousness, perception, and even spirituality. However, despite these advances, the brain remains an enigma, a vast, uncharted territory within our own heads. We are still far from fully understanding how this complex organ gives rise to the subjective experience of reality, the feeling of being a conscious, self-aware individual. Section 4 beyond the brain, the big questions remain. Science has made remarkable strides in explaining the material world. We have unraveled the mysteries of DNA, split the atom and sent humans to the moon. Yet when it comes to the big questions of existence, the nature of consciousness, the meaning of life, the existence of a soul, science often seems to fall short. Can the brain alone explain the awe we feel when gazing at a starlit sky, the love that binds us to our families, the moral compass that guides our actions? 
Or are these experiences rooted in something that transcends the physical world, something that cannot be dissected and analyzed under a microscope? These questions have haunted humanity since the dawn of self-awareness. While the brain plays a crucial role in shaping our experience of these profound aspects of life, many argue that it cannot be the whole story. To reduce love, spirituality, or morality to mere neural firings seems to miss something essential, something that lies at the heart of what it means to be human. The brain, for all its complexity, may be more like a receiver than a generator of these experiences. It may be a conduit, a channel through which we access a reality that transcends the limitations of our physical senses and the material world as we know it. Section five, the brain's tricks, a manipulated reality. The brain for all its wonders is also a master illusionist, capable of conjuring up experiences that have no basis in external reality. It can weave intricate tapestries of perception that feel as real as the ground beneath our feet. Consider the vivid hallucinations experienced during dreams, drug-induced states, or even in certain neurological conditions. These phenomena are not just fleeting moments of confusion. They can be as immersive and convincing as any waking experience. These experiences highlight the brain's ability to create its own realities, independent of sensory input. It's as if the brain has its own internal cinema, projecting scenes and stories that are entirely self-generated. Optical illusions provide another striking example of how the brain can be tricked. These illusions are not just amusing parlor tricks. They reveal fundamental aspects of how our brains process visual information. Images that appear to move, change shape, or even disappear before our very eyes demonstrate the subjective nature of perception. They show us that our brains are constantly interpreting and reinterpreting the visual data they receive. What we see is not always what is objectively there, but rather what our brain interprets and constructs based on its own internal wiring and past experiences. Our perception is a blend of current sensory input and the brain's expectations and memories. These illusions reveal the gap between perception and reality reminding us that the brain is not a passive receiver of information, but an active interpreter, constantly shaping and molding our experience of the world. It's a dynamic process where the brain is always at work, making sense of the chaos of sensory input. This raises a crucial question. If the brain can be fooled, how can we be sure that our everyday perception of reality is any more accurate than an elaborate illusion? This question challenges the very foundation of our understanding of reality. The unsettling possibility emerges that we might be living in a kind of matrix, a world expertly crafted by our brains to make sense of the sensory data bombarding us. Our brains could be creating a coherent narrative from the raw data, much like a director edits a film. While this idea might seem far-fetched, it serves as a potent reminder of the limitations of our own perception and the ever-present gap between the world as it is and the world as we experience it. It underscores the importance of questioning our assumptions and remaining open to the mysteries of the mind.